I think that nudged word is is very important. Um, I, I don't really believe that you can you can just wholesale change people's behavior. You, you need to give them some tools to change the behavior and you need exactly. to make it easy and reduce some friction. And I think people fundamentally understand that, yes, it would be better if I saved a little bit of money, but I only have a little bit of money to save and I don't have anywhere to do that. And it's a little bit challenging to get a traditional bank account now, I understand. And I've had several conversations about that. And I, I don't know why that ended up in my orbit, but it did. And um, it, it just seems that it's so hard for everyday people now. You know, if, if I, we, we have a number of manufacturing clients and they're not necessarily technically savvy. So an app on the phone is about as sophisticated as they're going to get, but they understand that it's their money and they should grow it. Right. And, but they don't know, they don't know how. So by yeah. giving them, okay, here, do $5, do $10, whatever. And here's your bonus for doing that, that people understand that. And yeah. they don't hit it over the head with you're a terrible person because you, you're not saving money because that doesn't help anybody. Exactly. And, and you, there, no one wants to be driven by that guilt. And, and Allison, you said like, you said it a couple of times with the, the word easy or simple. Mm -hmm. And like when we, at the end of the day, we are communicating with employees as well, right? And when we are describing to them what Sunny Day Fund does, we say, look, we, we're making saving easy, accessible, and rewarding, right? Mm -hmm. Easy in the sense that you set it up once, it's there, it, like, it like, takes a couple minutes maximum. Accessible, you can get those monies anytime you want. You're not having to pay any penalties. You can uh, get them to your payroll card, you can get them to uh, your bank account and it's rewarding because finally there's an economic incentive. And I also wanna to touch back on that aspect of like manufacturing. You know, one of the stories that I wanna share here is like when, when we have clients, there are clients um, that uh, may be taking advantage, for example, of the work opportunity tax credit. They may be hiring people that uh, have previously served veterans or who are formerly incarcerated. And strangely enough, unfortunately, these individuals have had a really tough time getting even a bank account. But, but when you're talking about a, a bank account that is not running any soft credit checks or doing anything like that in order to provide uh, just like, you know, essentially a store of goods and reward a consistent storage of goods on an ongoing basis. I mean, it's not a, it's not like, it's not an earth shattering concept, but the fact that we're doing it and including this large population, which, you know, turns out to be a third of America, right? Like it's, it's very important. We end up, uh, we 